back to Make Wear well with Miss Mark. Well, or welcome if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a range of smart materials. This is an activity I deliver to my design technology classes and the students are always amazed by the properties of the materials and how they can change shape and colour and how they're also reversible. So let's take a closer look. Here's an example of polymorph. It's a biodegradable polyester thermoplastic. It's a very low melting point, 60 to 62 degrees centigrade, but when cool, has physical properties of a very tough plastic similar to nylon. When added to boiling hot water, the granules turn transparent and start to join together. Once removed from the hot water, the polymorph is soft and malleable and can be easily moulded. It is a thermoplastic and can be reshaped repeatedly when hot, but sets when cold. When it's in its set form, it is an opaque white colour. This crazy little pink thing is called Smart Putty. It is malleable and soft to touch, yet when subjected to shock loading, such as being hit with a hammer or falling from a height, it behaves as though it is hard and unyielding. It doesn't give. This makes it suitable for application for motorcyclist body armor and protective cases for expensive devices, for example, your mobile phone. Photochromic. Word chromic means change, photo means light. Examples of paint pigment that changes colour when exposed to ultraviolet UV light. Here is an example of me using a UV light with some photochromic beads. Photochromic powders are colourless in their inactivated state and become coloured when exposed to an ultraviolet light source. They will also respond to natural sunlight. An example of photochromic products are beads, sunglasses, sewing threads, t-shirts and rear view mirrors and cars. This is a photochromic liquid. This is a similar effect to the bees, but in the form of a liquid, which can be painted onto a surface, for example, fabrics, paper. Thermochromic. People always get this confused with photochromic, and I'll explain why. Thermochromic reacts to heat by changing colour. Thermochromic items can be designed to react at different temperatures. This is an example of a battery test that uses thermochromic paper which indicates charge in a battery by reacting to the heat from a wire underneath the paper. The current from the battery creates heat due to the resistance in the wire. Because the thermochromic paper looks like photo paper, people get the two key words confused. But this is thermochromic, not photochromic. Here is another example of thermochromic paper reacting to the heat from my hand, my little chubby sausage fingers. And have some mugs using thermochromic pigment. The change is caused by the heat from the water. Shape memory alloy. If bent or distorted, will change to their original shape when heated. They are used for spectacle frames, which if accidentally bent, can be heated and returned to their original shape. So this crazy stuff is called ferrofluid. As you can see, I'm having to use uh, gloves to protect my hands because this is really messy stuff. 
Here is a magnet which I'll be using to manipulate the ferrofluid. Ferrofluids, a very difficult word to say by the way, are made up of tiny magnetic fragments of iron suspended in oil. As you can see I'm moving the magnet around and it's manipulating the ferrofluid. The properties make it useful for many different applications. It is used in rotary seals and computer hard drives and other uh, rotating shaft motors. Loudspeakers use ferrofluid to dampen vibrations. Medicine is used as a contrast agent for magnetic resonance imaging. This can be used for MRR scanners. I think this is one of the most amazing smart materials though because it is just so crazy the way it manipulates with the magnetic field. Oh my goodness, smart materials are amazing, they blow my mind. I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration. I will try to upload every week to so watch this space. If you enjoyed this, please check out my other videos and let your friends know about my channel. If you have any ideas, please leave a comment and I'll add it to my to-do list, which is getting really long. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.